everyone to Paper Play Action Reviews. This is actually, this time it's just be between me and Jones recording a podcast episode or review for Crow Country. I know we missed the mark because the, that game came out months ago, but we just, well, I did anyway, personally finished uh, the game on stream not too long ago. Jones finished also a few months ago past because I've just been really fucking busy. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> oh, lordy, this is going to be, this is going to be exciting because... This is the first episode, actually, or, is, or, or how many? I'm behind right now. Behind ep- episodes of what? Of uh, reviews. Oh, oh I, this the first one? I'm um, not too sure. I know the format of it has been changed quite a bit often. I remember doing my reviews, um, just a general um, breakdown of uh, reviews episodes for um, when we come over weeks, typically. But I've just been okay. busy. I haven't really gone over to reviews too much stuff. But hey, we're doing uh, one for just me and him uh, for Crow Country. But... Let's go. Let's start off the beat. Uh, what do you think of it? Actually, I think it's a, um, a fun survival horror game. Actually, um, for the first time, I feel kind of awkward playing it just because it was uh, 3D isometric in a sense. So the camera, you can have full control um, in the limited space, and that's something kind of unique um, to actually see because you know. Purists like to stick to the traditional um, camera angles um, in different rooms, and also like to be scary with the what you can't technically see off screen, but you can hear. But Crow Country actually just says, "No, screw that. You can see everything that's going on around you. Um, it's just the fact that you have to pay attention to like some small details, like some traps that might be on the floor, or anything like." Um, I can definitely tell from my experience that I uh, was running way too fast during the middle of the game and I ended up uh, eating, getting poisoned or bombed or the fucking chandelier was my biggest issue like fuck me eventually like I want to say probably late in the game I decided to finally just start shooting those things because I got tired of it too yeah, um, yeah. I, I wanted to conserve ammo and I got I got too good on playing the uh, first time through I'm not wasting a lot of ammo thank goodness for that um, didn't die once, so the game is not that difficult in per- my personal opinion. I didn't have a good time with it, though. True. Like, it it definitely feels kind of easy, though, but I might have to go back um, and try on the harder difficulties because after, you know, playing the traditional ones and the current indie titles that's coming out right now, um, they're survival horror based. It was kind of easy conserve- to conserve all that ammo, being ready just to say, hey, screw all the sub-bosses and screw screw the main boss. We're like, hey, you, you can enjoy the ride. Mm-hmm. Yep, and that's what we got uh, as well. Uh, that's what I got as well, especially during the ride there. Since the uh, theme in this one, like, uh, like unlike other Scar Horror, uh, we are in an abandoned amusement, amusement park. Um, I know a few other horror titles... I've done that beforehand, but this is more of a Resident Evil slash Silent Hill s gameplay where you can move around, shoot at enemies and targets uh, with uh, control accuracy. Um, this one is, like you've said before, a 3D isometric camera, a 3D isometric um, shooter where you actually can control the camera around you, but when you're shooting, you stand uh, stock still and aim the con- uh, game on gun aiming uh, like Resident Evil 4 and 5. Good old yes. tank controls. You can play tank controls. You can play um, new. You can play the current uh, age on pad with the analog stick. You have damn near perfect control aiming um, in this game. Like, there's no reason why you should miss unless you just pointed it wrong. Honestly, um, the puzzles also are a little bit um, easy. Some kind of on the nose once you kind of pay attention and you go through the game a little bit. Mm-hmm. Especially when it came to the um, the torture uh, dungeon room, when it came to the um, the 
floppy disk when you finally got it for the computer. That puzzle right there was like, hey, at that point. <laughs> uh, I also want to say that the story was also something enjoyable as well. Like, I know a lot of people are tired of the usual, you gotta read the notes, you gotta read the um, journals just to get the full knowledge of what the story is and the environment, what's going on. But actually in Crow Country, it actually pays off for when you get to the end of the game and for the big reveal. And it, 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 it kind of sticks with you. I want to say it's not as uh, gut-riching and heart feeling as Signalis, mm -hmm. but this one actually just comes a nice full circle. And if it wanted to, there could be a possible sequel. If it does, so I think. Yeah, if the game oh, does well, okay. um, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I know it's a mini title game, made by. We should look. We should look this up at least. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Uh, developers of this game is F F. Uh, SFB Games. Uh, they have uh, only one other title currently, and that is called the Merm the Tangled Tower. The Tangled Tower. Mm -hmm. uh, Tangled Tower is still just on demo at the moment here, but uh, also did the Haunt the House, uh, the terror game, where you move around a, 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 a map and possess items and attack people. Uh, Tempted Grimoire and Ta uh, Tangled Tower was released by 2018. Okay, now they have four uh, four games underneath their belts. Crow Country is their hmm. latest. Hmm. Yep. Well, hopefully, um, Crow Country is a game that also, you know, gives them the backing and approval to hopefully get some more work and, you know, continue doing their thing as well. Yep. Uh, the previous titles look like a, kind of a puzzle solver, point and click adventure games, from what I see. Uh, some of that are like, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, Secret Monkey Island. Oh, yeah, but, hmm. yep, but that's the original style for it, so that explains the puzzle aspect uh, for it. I did like, I did enjoy it though. It was uh, pretty impressive. I'd like to see what they do more. If this is what they're wanting to do uh, down the road. Yes, I definitely enjoy it, and um, I'm honestly so sorry. I, I, I really should. Next time, I'll, I promise to do more homework um, to the listeners out there. Um, Shouts out to the artists. And the character design team because these uh, creatures uh, were actually very disturbing and they actually stick with me um, especially the tall skeleton and especially some of the other later later ones when they get all the lesions and the boils and sometimes with the spikes coming out of their bodies like yep. it the, the creature the creature designs are definitely something that hey we need more <laughs> puddle face uh really got me on that one i just like hate disturbing it but because i was so overly stocked and well to it just a few shotgun blasts to the face was all it took <laughs> again Honestly, yeah me me and jones because we're uh, resident evil, um old resident evil veterans we got too used to that uh, aspect so it didn't uh, bother us too much yeah it's just uh, sorry that sometimes that um, I do personally try to get around to the harder difficulties on uh, some of the games, but obviously with everything that's on our plate right now in society, um, yeah, there's too many fucking games and we need to finish them. Oh, yeah, you have no idea. And uh, if anyone's interested in playing survival horror game, Crow Country, we do highly recommend giving a pass, uh, giving a shot. Uh, to play, it is uh, traditionally um, 20 bucks uh, for it. I would say the money is more than worth it, uh, playing the game, especially if you're planning on playing it more uh, uh, in more ways than one, multiple difficulties, even a uh, hunt uh, difficulty run. But yeah, I definitely say it's worth your money for it. Um, get on sale or pay full price. I recommend it regardless. Yes, same here. It is definitely a game that is worth playing anytime around the year, especially during spooky season right now. Please enjoy it. Please back also support, uh, continue supporting the development team behind Crow Country. I'm sorry, one more time. Yep. Is it SFB Games? Yes, SFB Games. Yes, shout out to the people at SFB Games. Please continue to support them as well and other indie developers that you see when you see good games. Support dope shit. 
Mm -hmm. Please. Honestly, because we need more stuff like this. Um, I know Capcom's been doing Real Survival 4 recently, and us horror fans are eating good uh, as of late, but hey, it always helps with indie, uh, indie titles like this to get people's attention. Yes. Um, hmm. Honestly, I don't, I don't have anything, I don't, I don't think I have anything else to say right now. Um, That's cool. And yeah, it's, uh, it's because I know I have nothing else on our plate at the moment, at least in terms of experience wise. I know I'm personally going through Space Arena at the moment. I know you're going through Astrobot, but we'll keep our opinions to ourselves until we finally actually get through the games. Yes, but please keep. Um, please continue to support the Paper Play Action um, podcast and team as well. Um, we will come back and with more reviews on. Um, actually, we'll try to uh, get a more personal one-on-one -on -one with some of the team. Also, since you know we usually you guys listen to us in a full group and not just uh, you know a personal section a session with some of the team. Honestly, to get our personal opinions and see that, you know, it's not just the usual uh, major games out there that we're trying to cover. Yep. Yes, we'll try to cover anything that we find and interest ourselves. And I personally, anyway, I would try to strive uh, holding my opinion on a game review until I either fully uh, complete it, provided the game doesn't piss me off enough. <laughs> By the way... I'm not playing. I'm not playing that chain together shit, Kayla. We're not doing this right now. Though. Oh, you will, because that's one thing. The spooky season. I need to go through hell with a friend. <laughs> Why that hell? You already tortured me with the rest of these games, Kayla. Why? You already gave me a uh, Duke Nukem Forever, by the way. I'm enjoying that, by the way. I need to hear a review for you from that. I know, I know that game is ancient, but it's still considered one of the worst games ever. <laughs> Honestly, I can just say right now it's not that bad, but we'll let you guys go. Um, yep. Bye. Bye-bye.